known as It's Vanessa, and welcome to Engineering Gals YouTube. So today I'm going to take you on my day. So I just showed you guys uh, basically what I made for breakfast and what I do on the mornings. I usually like to take care of my plants and make my matcha and oatmeal. That's what I do every single day. I always make my matcha because I don't really like to drink coffee. I get a little too jittery, so that is my drink of choice. So that is my whole morning routine and yeah, I am a civil engineer focused in transportation engineering. I currently still work from home ever since March of 2020 so we are still in the pandemic. Um, I don't know when I'm going to be going back into the office anytime soon. I do have the opportunity to go into the office if needed, if necessary but there's a whole process every time you go into the office. So maybe I can show you guys that one of these days, but this is my setup. So yeah, uh, I actually started work already. I started reading my emails and any messages that I was missing, and I'll try to take you on throughout my day. So as I mentioned, I work from home, and so majority of what I do throughout the day includes checking my emails, that's usually the first thing that I do. And then from there, then I go into AutoCAD, and AutoCAD is where I typically do a lot of my design and drafting. But today is a little different because a lot of my projects are actually at the city right now, so I am waiting for responses from the city. So in the meantime, what I typically do is go over plan sets that I have already comments from another reviewer. And so when it comes to civil engineering, a lot of our plans are reviewed and they're iterated and they're changed multiple times. Basically, um, after the CAD design is done, then we usually go to our supervisor or somebody to review our plans. And then we do at least two to three review cycles before we actually submit it to the public agency, which for my case is the city for at least two of my main projects. And one of my projects is actually in pre-construction right now, so they are about to start construction. So I am excited for that because I can't wait to actually go on site for this project. But that's on another day. That's not what I'm doing today. I am going through plans and checking whether or not the comments have been addressed. And what I like to do, we use Bluebeam a lot instead of Adobe. I think some people might be more familiar with Adobe, but Bluebeam is a similar PDF software that I use on a daily basis. And then besides that, I also like to print out plans. I know I'm a little old school and also the fact that it is killing paper, or killing trees. And so I know not a lot of people are very into that. I try to limit the amount of times that I do print, but for me personally, I'm able to catch more mistakes when something is printed and I'm able to look at it a lot better than on the screen. So when I am looking at the screen quite a lot, I like to use my blue light glasses. So let me pull that off for you. Um, so these are my blue light glasses and I use it whenever I am staring at the screen for a long period of time. For the most part I am going between the screen and these plans because I am redlining them right now and double checking if they're the comments have been addressed and so yeah that's why I'm not wearing my glasses at this moment and these ones are from Key. I don't remember what oh they're called Rumors. This is the style Rumors and if I could show you guys with one hand how to put this on. Oh yeah there's like a little bit of a glare so I really enjoy wearing these. I didn't think that I needed blue light glasses for the longest time and it wasn't until I started working from home, I think the lighting in my room is just not good enough that maybe it 
just made my eyesight a little worse. I'm not sure exactly, but my eyes started to really get strained when I worked at home for the first two months and I realized maybe it's the blue light glasses that I need to finally put some money into. So yes, that is my day so far. So I will mostly be going through plans and that's basically it. <laughs> Just got done with our team meeting and we meet with our main team that we worked with to go over all the projects that are going on, what we're working on, and yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting seeing what other people work on because before we had the, these team meetings, I was mainly focused on the projects that I was working on or what my immediate team, because we have a smaller group or smaller team as well within this large team um, and we would go over all the different projects that we're working on so it's pretty interesting we're also hearing about the possible projects that we could be working on where my manager talks about the project proposals that she's working on so yeah that's that's basically what our team meetings are all about hi everyone so i'm already on my lunch break um so i already have leftovers so that's not really that exciting to show you guys but I thought I would take a break to answer a couple of questions. So my educational background is that I attended community college because I didn't know what I wanted to major in actually until close to the end of high school really. And I also wanted to save some money. After transferring from community college, then I went to San Diego State University. I got my degree in civil, bachelor's degree in civil engineering. And yeah, now I am here. I have about almost five years of working in the industry now. So next question is, how has COVID affected my work life? So as I mentioned earlier, I am now working from home. I've never had a opportunity or a chance to really work from home beforehand. Luckily, my work includes a work laptop. So we already had that and we already could have the option of traveling for work if needed. Um, so it was a seamless transition actually. I was able to bring home a lot of things like this monitor. I typically have actually two large monitors like this. So this is a bit of a downgrade, but it's all that I can fit on my home desk. And yeah, I do miss seeing my coworkers every day. Um, I do miss being able to chat with them, even the people who I'm not, I'm not working directly with. I do really miss talking to everyone. And so usually we try to communicate through Microsoft Teams. Uh, for the first couple of months, we would do stretch sessions twice a day. And it's kind of been a little bit difficult to keep up with that, especially when we're really busy at work. And when we were studying for the professional engineering exam, when it was available it's been pushed back at least three times now so when we were planning on taking the PE a couple of my coworkers and I were doing a virtual study group via Microsoft Teams so I thought that was really helpful um, but I do again miss studying and in person rather than through a computer or just not being able to see my coworkers and being able to chat um, in person is very different since I mentioned earlier we have team meetings every week um so that has been really helpful so i completely forgot to record or vlog for the rest of the day but basically after work i had a meeting i'm involved in a california infrastructure group and we are planning on creating some to help the public know more about infrastructure uh so completely forgot to record that but i thought i'd let you guys know if you guys have any questions relating to civil engineering, relating to transportation engineering, please let us know in the comment section below. Feel free to reach out to me on Instagram, that's where I'm the most active, and maybe LinkedIn as well if you're interested in that. And it is also Filipino American Heritage Month. I am full Filipino, both of my parents are from the Philippines. I associate myself and I'm very prideful of being a Filipino. I don't know Tagalog, but I did grow up with obviously majority of the culture because both of my parents are straight from the Philippines. They came to America about 30 years ago and I, I love it. I've only been to the Philippines like once, 
but I love my culture, I love my heritage, and you know, I, I hope I can share that with you guys some more. So again, feel free to message me if you have any questions, and mabuhai! Thanks guys!